I will be teaching you how to install various mods for Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. This will include being able to insta-swap the model and texture of CJ the main character or any other characters within the game, but also how to install the Clio library and run various scripts, custom hacks, and mods. This can be things such as shooting lasers out of your hands, flying on a broomstick, teleporting across the map, stopping time, a whole bunch of options. We will also be raising the maximum resolution that we can use with this game, which is currently limited at 1680 by 1050 This is a problem for users who are currently running on 1080p or higher resolutions. We will be installing a fast loader, which essentially skips the intro cinematics and loads various maps more quickly. Finally, we will be doing a simple copy-paste job that will change the loading screens between missions. Let's look at the various tools that we will be using. The first tool that we will be using is the Clio 4 library. This installs on top of the game and allows scripts to hook into it. We will require a custom EXE that does not require a CD to run, is version 1.0, which many hacks require, and works well with the Clio library. Spark is an archive browser. This allows us to look at and swap out various models and textures that San Andreas uses. TXD Workshop allows us to view texture files and repackage them so that we can customize the skins of models. Pedestrian Editor allows us to look at the current status of characters and models within the game, making it easier to see how our fixes are coming out. There are a few things that we will need to know. First off, TTASA within these percentage marks simply refers to your Grand Theft Auto San Andreas root directory. For me, it is set at Program Files, Rockstar Games, GTA San Andreas. This is the root. The most important file that we will be working with is GTA3.img. This holds the vast majority of models and textures that the game uses. DFF is simply a model file. TXD is a texture or a skin that goes over the model. And CS is a custom script that works with the Clio engine that changed the way the game works. Before we continue, make sure that you back up my documents and your GTA SA user files. These are your saves. Be sure to also back up GTA3.img as a stock, since it's kind of annoying to have to reinstall the game every time you kind of corrupt something. Let's begin by installing the Clio 4 library and then copying over our custom exe. All the files I have located within this folder. So let's find Clio 4, run the setup. Actually, if you're on Windows 7, run it as an administrator. However, it's likely you'll get some errors, just don't worry about them and hit ignore. So, Clio should now be installed, and I'm going to copy over the custom exe, which I have located here. And there it is. To make life easier for myself, I'm going to create a shortcut that I will drag to the desktop. Let's run the game, and we should see the version number in the lower left of the San Andreas main menu. Let's give that a try. As you can see, Clio version 4 1.1.26 works. Clio has installed successfully. Let's install our first Clio script. I have one located inside of the scripts folder. We'll use the one called Master Spark, which basically shoots a giant laser beam out of your hands that one hit kills anything. We go to the root directory of San Andreas, open the Clio folder, and copy paste mspark.cs in it. Now let's open up the game. So we're running the Clio 4 library, and as you can see in the lower left it says one custom script loaded, which in this case is the Master Spark script. I activate it by holding tab pressing H and moving the arrow keys around to aim it. So let's see what it does. Hammer pass. It basically one hit kills everything, but it can be useful in missions and it's pretty fun. Let's install the script that allows us to switch CJ's in-game model and texture at any time. This is Ryosuke's skin selector which again is included in the RAR beneath the video description. We'll open the RAR, and inside there's a folder called Skin. We will also op open up our GTA San Andreas root directory. GTA.dat goes inside of the data folder, replacing the file currently in there. Skin.img, our new archive, goes into the Clio folder. And Skin underscore O also goes into the Clio folder. We can close these and open up our browsing tool, Spark. File, open, and inside Clio, we have our skin.img. There's currently one texture file included, but we'll just delete it since we don't need it. I'll browse through my textures and models and find one that I like. Let's do the Master Chief. 
is a DFF model and a TXD texture. Select and drag them in. They both look good, hit the save button. Now, let's load up San Andreas and see how the script works. Let's hit escape and we'll see that under Clio 4 we have two custom script loading. This time, Master Spark and our Ryosuke skin selector. I hold tab and lift up on the mouse button and I switch to the Master Chief. So, now I can play as another player. I can also use the other script in conjunction. And there we go! Now, let's swap out the model and texture files some of the non-player characters in the game. Open up Spark, our archive browser. File, open, and inside the root directory, models, gta3.img. This is the main archive for models and texture files of the game. Let's begin by replacing the Grove Street family members, which are labeled fam 1 through 3. In the search bar, type in fam and hit enter. Here it's found our three files. Select them and hit delete on each. Now, let's delete the texture files. One, two, three. Let's go into our folder and find a model and texture that we like. Let's use the character Konata from Lucky Star. And I'll just copy paste these to the desktop to make it easy. They'll be renamed to fam. Fam1 and Fam1. Copy them and, re and rename them Fam2. Copy them, rename them Fam3. There we go. One, two, three. Select them all and drag them into Spark. They should all appear at the bottom. Then hit save. The pedestrian editor will let us look inside of the GTA 3 archive to see what our characters currently look like. Let's open it up. Since we swapped Konata for the family files, let's look up fam 1 through 3. Here they are. So the normal ballas. Now fam 1, 2, and 3. So we know it should work in game. You can use this tool to find other classes or skins that you'd want to change. Don't worry if they turn out sideways sometimes. It's perfectly normal and will appear fine in game. Cleo is working properly and we have now swapped the Konata skin for the Grove Street families. Let's look, and their characters work properly. Oh, these characters have been swapped. Now we are going to install the Resolution Fix and Fast Loader ASI plugins. Open up our folder, and in here we have our plugins. Another folder to the root directory of San Andreas. Grab the SA Display Resolutions.asi and drag it into root. Our Fast Loader goes into root and our ASI loader DLLs also go in and replace the current files in there. Now for the final modification, replacing the loading screens with the Toho package that I found. In here we have our scripts, the Toho loading screens. Here's a basic example of what it will look like. It will change all of the menus when switching between missions and loading the game. It's simply a TXD file that replaces the pictures used by the game. It's located in data, Oops, models, txt. Copy paste it and replace the current one. On the right, I have a list of the most common models and textures that you'll be changing in the game, as they are the most common and you'll be seeing them throughout the entirety of it. Note, however, that you cannot change the models and textures of characters used in cinematics without doing hex coding, which is very tedious and complicated and beyond the scope of this video. Hope you've had a good time learning, and I hope you have many fun hours playing San Andreas.